My name is Martin Rosenqvist. I work at Strategy and Business Ownership, and I've been at Volvo 11 years now. I was 19, and I had borrowed my mother's car for a week. She was away on business, and, and I was driving to school. I was not, not speeding. I wasn't going that fast, but um, I was also fiddling a bit with radio, I think. Then I, I noticed that the car was sort of going straight in the curb onto the, the right-hand side, and I tried to, to maneuver against it. And as I hit the gravel on the side of the road, the car sort of lunged itself over the other side of the road and into a, a ditch. And then there was just a sound of, of shattering glass and, and just, you know, metal breaking. And I came to, and I don't know if it was minutes or seconds, I was completely silent, but then I heard something and I, I recognized it was music, it was the stereo playing. Uh, so I got my bearings and I, I tried to open the door uh, but it wouldn't open, so I, I climbed out through the driver's seat window, which was, which was gone, basically. And that's, that's actually where I obtained the only sort of damage in this whole thing. And that was, I cut my, my knuckle a little bit from the, the glass that was still on the, on the window frame. And I got out of the car and I had my cell phone in my pocket, so I called my father. He said, like, call the police, call the tow truck, and I'll come pick you up at the hospital. It was sort of, at that time, we realized how severe the impact was. Because when we towed the car out, I, I had a, a wristwatch on and, and that was gone. And we found that underneath the car. Everything was broken. And uh, I've, I've rarely seen my father cry, but at that time he, he broke down completely. The girl driving the tow truck and the police were sort of unanimous that Volvo saved my life at that time. I thought it would be more dramatic somehow. It's, it's a ditch on the side of the road. But I guess that and times the forces of the car crashing makes it a big thing, but yeah. Working for Volvo and the safety heritage that we have and now being in the, the car programs um, I know and I experience firsthand that we don't take it lightly and that's fantastic. There are the legal requirements and then there are the Volvo requirements. And we meet the Volvo requirements and that's a lot tougher and that's a lot better for our customers. Today I have a V90 cross country and I make a point of always keeping the active safety systems on in the car. Uh, I find them inconvenient at time uh, but I know that they matter and had I had those uh, systems maybe it wouldn't have happened. <laughs>